Hello! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I appreciate every single last one of you guys. So for today's video, I wanted to talk about treating underarm burns. So um, I had used this deodorant and it caused a reaction with my body and uh, pretty much it just burned my skin off. <laughs> um, it burned my skin off. My skin got really crusty and it was peeling and it was just so extremely painful. I'm going to put some pictures on the screen so you guys can see. Um, and then also, so as you guys can see, this underarm is still kind of healing. Um, it's pretty much healed. This is like a just like a scar left over but I do have times that it gets irritated and then this one is just completely um it's completely healed which is nice so I just wanted to talk to you guys about some of the things that I use to help me so first and foremost um like I said I use this deodorant and it burned my skin so make sure that you understand exactly what is going on with you so that you can treat it correctly when i went to the doctor they were so extremely helpless that i had to diagnose myself i went to i don't know what that sound is i went to one doctor and they pretty much told me that there was nothing wrong with me and if it was a product then um why weren't then he like asked me why they weren't sued for other people that may have experienced what i went through and i'm like what <laughs> then I had another doctor who told me that I had eczema and that apparently by me using the deodorant it caused my eczema to flare up which no I've never had eczema I do not have eczema um but if you look up the word contact dermatitis but when you use it and it causes a chemical burn on your skin that is what contact derma dermatitis is and that's literally what happened with me so I had contact dermatitis not none of the other shit that they talk about so first and foremost, one thing that helped me is to make sure that your arms are aired out. If you are wearing long sleeve t-shirts, if you are wearing like tight shirts on your underarms, it is going to be so irritating for you. I'm telling you now, um, a lot of times I would sleep like a zombie like this, or I would like walk around with my hands on my hips just to allow air to kind of come through. And once I did that, it helped significantly. So if you can, I know it's winter time now, but if you can wear shirts like this or just like tank tops. Um, anything that you can do to allow ventilation in between your underarms is going to help you significantly. I am telling you, it, it, it is so important to ventilate your underarms. And then um, also to make sure that you are not wearing deodorant during this time. And I know that it can be hard, but we are in winter now. So, I mean, you're not going to be hot and sweating and getting all stanky and stuff like that. So, but do not use deodorant. In my case, when I use deodorant, I always made it worse. I would start to heal. I would start to see improvements. And then I would get tired of not wearing deodorant because, you know, like I'm out and I'm about. And I don't want people to be smelling me. So I would, you know, break down and I would wear deodorant. And then I would go right back to step one. Go right back to where I started. So if you really are serious about curing and getting rid of your contact dermatitis and healing your burns, you have to be strong and don't use deodorant. Now, what I did do some days where I felt like I had to use deodorant is I would take this. I would take um, my deodorant and I actually just made me a fresh batch of body butter. So excuse the container that it's in. I still have to whip it and everything. But I would just take maybe like, I would maybe take like two parts of butter versus one part of deodorant the the point of this is you want to dilute it. it by you diluting your um your deodorant you're just making it so where it's not too strong and hopefully when you do put it on you it's not going to burn too much but it's also going to give you that coverage to where you need so you're not like funking up the place um so i would literally just do that and then i would take a little bit of deodorant and then i would mix it together and put it under my underarms and that is what would help me some days um most days it would help me but also some days that it wouldn't help me um it, it was kind of like a if it works it works and if it doesn't it doesn't if that makes sense so like sometimes i would use it and it will work good and it wouldn't hurt me and then other times it will work good but then it would hurt me and then sometimes it wouldn't work good but it also wouldn't hurt me <laughs> So um, you just got to kind of play around with it. And I also didn't have a specific ratio. So I don't know if those days that it wasn't working with me, if I wasn't using enough deodorant or if the days that it was burning, if I was using too much deodorant. So try to figure out what's going to work for you and your burns and use it accordingly. But the, the dilution, it like it really works and it really helps. 
Um, one thing that I will say though is I don't use lotion. Like I never use lotion on my body. I don't even have lotion in my house. Um, I always use like body butter, shea butters, um, like mango butter. You can use cocoa butter, like just a thick mixture. Um, I always use like on my body as a whole. So I don't know how this will work if you were to use lotion. Um, if you want my opinion, I feel like lotion doesn't really moisturize as good as like butters. It's not as thick and hydrating and moisturizing and it's also not good for you either unless you're using like a all natural chemical free um lotion but i would definitely recommend you using butter don't use lotion and mix it in with this use butter and then you also want to make sure that the deodorant that you're using is a natural deodorant you want to make sure that on top of the burn that you already had that you're not putting chemicals um in that because one your in, your underarms are very sensitive anyway you don't want anything to work against what it is that you're trying to do so if you're trying to heal your underarms don't put chemicals on top of it you know um but that's just my opinion do whatever you feel like is best for you but one that i like is smith this is a really old deodorant that i have so if it looks a little janky i'm sorry um i actually like the vanilla and rose one i bought this one y'all I was in a rush and I didn't read the actual scent and um, so I just saw purple and I just grabbed it and I left and y'all this smells like straight black pepper like when I tell you it smells like I pour some black pepper in a bowl and I smelt it that's literally what it smells like if that's something that you're okay with do your thing but for me I don't want my other arms to smell like black pepper so as y'all can see I've probably used this like maybe once or twice. <laughs> I don't use it that often. Um, I've been using Native. Native works really good, but like I said, I just be grabbing stuff and I don't be reading. And I didn't realize that this was not natural. Um, it is aluminum and paraben free, but it's not natural. So um, definitely be careful when you like are picking out your deodorants. Read because reading is fundamental. Don't make the same mistake that I did and walking around with underarms that smells like black pepper. It's it's not a good smell. In my opinion, it's not a good smell. So um some different creams that you can use. So first I used um I used lemon balm. Now I don't have the lemon balm on me because I used it but anyone who's ever like used lemon balm or seen it before you know exactly like how good it works in the texture but if you haven't it, it's kind of like a lighter Vaseline texture um, it literally is just like Vaseline to me except it's just not as thick um, a lot of people use it for any sores any burns any scrapes a lot of people also use it on their skin I would put it on my face every day because I love the way that it would make my face skin face look it just like improves the overall texture of your skin which is really nice and since your skin is burned you want it to, to improve the texture and also the appearance of your skin so um, the lemon balm was really good but the miracle cream that I use is calendula salve and I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I used to call it cal caliudinia salve but I heard somebody say calendula so I don't know which one it is but this is what I use and I actually bought this one off of Amazon and I think this was like $15 and at first I was a little skeptical because $15 for this little tiny thing but it works so good and it lasts so long. I have like two jars. Um, I probably went through like four jars already. Not necessarily just on my underarms. I like to use it on my face um, as well. But this, all right, so this is the salve here and it's more of like a really thin greasy texture it's not really like a vaseline greasy um but it's like a grease it's a cream grease if that makes sense it's really like weird texture it's kind of like a cream but it's like a grease I hope I'm explaining it right because that just didn't make sense to me. So on the back it says that calendula is an exceptional treatment for inflamed skin, dry skin, irritation, scrapes, and chapped lips. Um, calendula is a strong, is strong in action, gentle on the skin, and ideal for baby skin care. Um, so I actually used this on my lips and it didn't do shit for my lips. I don't know if my lips were just crusty. <laughs> Um, but it didn't work on my lips, but it works tremendously on my underarms. Um, if my underarms are burning me, I will put this on and it will like take the burn away like that. Like it goes away super fast. It works really, really good. Um, and if you are looking for anything to do and like you're just really desperate and you just want anything you want, 
this is worth it this is definitely worth $15 it works so good um not only just on that my mom actually had a sunburn a while ago um she had a sunburn a while ago and I actually gave her some of this calendula salve to put on her face and it took her sunburn away like instantly. Um, another thing you can try is aloe vera. Um, aloe vera is really, really, really good at repairing the skin, especially burns and scrapes. Um, I'm pretty sure you've heard a lot of people say that they love aloe vera gel and they use it a lot. I, when I used it, it didn't really help me. Um, I don't know if it was because I was just not consistent with it because at the beginning of my whole like like, um, initial burn I didn't um, I didn't really stick to a lot of things I tried a lot of stuff until my underarm stopped burning and then it was like once my underarm stopped burning I just stopped doing things so um, I was just extremely inconsistent with it but you can definitely try aloe vera and it might work out really really well for you um, and then another thing is just to make sure that you are cleaning the area properly um i like to use like castile soap or black soap those soaps can be pretty harsh as well so um i like to dilute them sometimes with water and then i might put like a little 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 bit of oil in it like a tad 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 bit um especially under my underarms because since they are already dried out and peeling i don't want to add something on there that's going to make it even more drying because it's going to be even more uncomfortable and it's going to be more painful so um just pay attention to that and be aware of that but that is honestly all the advice that I have right now. Um, just make sure that you air out your underarms. Make sure that you are cleaning. Um, make sure that you are using natural products. Do not put chemicals on an already sensitive area. Use your calendula salve. You can use lemon balm. Um, and then dilute your deodorant. If you have to use like, if you have to use the deodorant, dilute it if you can. It will literally help you out so 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 much. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and love, y'all.